Well, it's never happened to this extent before, but the recent brutal weather forced Whitefish Mountain Resort to close six times last month. Resort spokeswoman Riley Columbus tells us this is the coldest February the mountain had ever experienced. Some days with wind chill, the summit dipped to 40 below. Columbus explains the resort accounts for wind, temperature, and the safety of their guests when deciding to close certain lifts. And she says it's never easy for the mountain to close lifts, but they still have to for safety. It did, though, take a toll on the mountain's revenue. We have a, a you know, a lodge, the summer house with a restaurant over of the top, so you lose revenue from that. We've had to cancel several events because of this, so we've lost revenue from that. I mean, it's not an ideal situation, but it is Mother Nature. It is part of the risk in being in this industry. Guests who visited while lifts were closed were given refunds for their tickets valid for one year. Now, some visitors did express their anger that the mountain was closed. In fact, so many comments were made. CEO Dan Graves issued a statement emailed to pass holders saying it's, quote, no secret the resort has had its share of lift problems and isn't happy about it. But he says for someone who has never spent any time working as a lift mechanic or electrician to accuse management of not hiring competent lift maintenance staff or being cheap about fixing the lifts is really not okay. He says the resort wants the lifts to run, but quote, nothing in life is perfect every day.